If you're looking at a cell that contains a value, like this one right here, and you want to find out before you clear it what other cells or functions and formulas are dependent upon that, if any at all, then with it selected, come up here and click on the Formulas tab, go to the Formula Auditing group, and it's right there, Trace Dependence. When you hover over it, you get the pop-up, and it says it'll show arrows that indicate which cells are affected by the value of the currently selected cell. Or in other words, when I click on it, it'll show the directional flow of data between cells containing values and the formulas based upon them. So we've got the directional flow going to the right and these two formulas that are based upon that value. So the total for Marge for all four quarters, then the average, and then the second quarter total for all the employees and the average as well. Now that's the first layer. If there are additional layers, then with the cell selected, go ahead and come up here and click on Trace Dependence again. And hey, notice that. Once you get the total for everybody, then you get the grand total, as it were, the total for all four quarters for each employee and also the average. So it continues the flow down below. Now to go ahead and clear this out, all you have to do is come up here and click on Remove Arrows, or let me go ahead and click on it once and then twice again. If you want to remove it one layer at a time, then click on Remove Arrows, down to Remove Dependents. There's the second layer gone, and then again to remove the final layer. And it works vice versa. So if I select a cell that contains a function or formula like this one, you can see up in the formula bar, there's the sum function. Then instead of tracing dependence, you can trace precedence. When you hover over it, it says it'll show arrows that indicate which cells affect the value of the currently selected cell. So click on it, and there you go. It all points down to here, this range right here, that affects the value of that cell. Now, does it go beyond that? In other words, are any of these cells dependent upon other cells? Well, the only way to find out is to come back up here and click on Trace Precedence again, and what the heck is that? Well, if you look in this cell right here, look up in the formula bar, it's referencing another sheet. That's not the value itself in the cell. That's the value being pulled from another sheet, and it's sheet number two, cell A1. So instead of coming over here to sheet two and looking at A1, which you could do, let me go back to sheet one, with that reference saying it's outside of this sheet, you can hover over the dashed line and double click really fast. Brings up the go to feature. Go ahead and double click on the trace arrows, sheet 2A1, to go right to it. Pretty cool. Let's go back to sheet 1. And is there another layer on top of that one? Well, no, but you can go ahead and click on it anyways. And then we can start from something that is dependent upon these totals, that's dependent upon the values here and say trace precedence, say trace precedence again, say it one more time, doesn't go any further than that. And then you can see that this is dependent upon that, which is dependent upon that. So you've got one, two layers. And you can go ahead and click on remove arrows for remove precedence arrows, removes one, removes the second, and finally, and we can't remove that till we come back up here and say remove precedence, and then it's gone. But you can also say remove all and it clears them out. And then finally you have the trace error arrows. You got the Devo. And so it's saying, look, I'm getting an error because I can't have something divided by zero. DIV for divide forward slash zero. And where's it coming from? Is it this range? Is it that range? Well, you can look at the cell and take a look up in the formula bar and see that it's coming from over to the left. But if you want, you can come up here. If your worksheet's a little bit more complicated than mine, and to the formula auditing group, go ahead and hover over error checking, click on the drop down arrow, and say you want to trace the error. Click on it, and it's coming from this range over here. So when it's doing an average, you gotta have a number in one of these cells, even though they're all blank and we don't have any averages yet, because if not, then we get a divide by zero error. So if I come over into this cell, oh, let me click over here, arrow key up, and type in zero, at least it has one that it can divide by and not zero, hence the divide by zero error. And then when you're done, go ahead and click on remove arrows. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.